Good morning, everyone. Hope that you had a restful night. Um, we've had some rain on Sunday, and so I think that gave me a chance to kind of relax and rest and, and, um, and during the social distancing, distancing time. Um, but my name is Anthony, for those of you who don't know. And so I wanted to share um, this morning's devotion and kind of some things that I was thinking so this week, Holy Week, is um, we go from praising with loud hosannas, you know, to praising that Christ is risen. But in between that time, there's this whole time um, to go through the motions with Jesus. On Thursday, we will go through to Holy Thursday service and we will see where Jesus washed the feet of the disciples and had with them the Last Supper in the upper room. And then Friday, um, Good Friday, we, we witnessed the death of Jesus. And so, and then on Saturday, we also mourn, you know, in the darkness knowing that Sunday is coming. So I want to share with you um, some parts of Psalms 30. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and you did not let my enemies glow over me. Lord, my God, I called you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. And this is my favorite part. Weeping may endure for the night, but rejoicing and joy comes in the morning. So as we are in this transition time between Palm Sunday and Easter, I want you to remember that last line. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. So we know what happens at the end of the story. So during this time of social distancing, when things are unrest, just remember that we go through this time and we will be able to celebrate again, just like we will on Easter. And in life, we will be able to. And so we'll continue rejoicing and thanking God in the midst of all of this craziness, all of this darkness, um, the things that are going on. But remember that joy comes in the morning. So take time and remember that today to pray. Just know that you are loved by your church family. You are loved um, so much. And um, I'm glad I got to share this time with you. And I will see you this week for our time together as we journey to the cross but eventually to the resurrection.